Welcome back Mayors, my name's The Craver and this is still my birthday recording session of City Skylines because I'm really in the mood to play some City Skylines. Because it's a really fun game and I just want to play a lot. I just want to play it. Is this empty? No, 27%. This one is empty, so this one can be destroyed. How about the... Um, Landfill over here, 17%. It's almost empty, which is good. Uh, we do need more industry, so maybe it's a good uh, idea to actually simply expand our farming a little bit more. Uh, let's see, what's our district like? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to extend this road somewhere like this. Yeah, I know that makes people pissed off. And you can... No, it needs to be a little bit closer. This way we have a road around the entirety of the um, farming district. I believe that is correct. I'll just add the road into it as well. Just for good measure. And remove the other side of the road until the highway. There we go. Either this is arable land, I don't think we're going to add this to it either this is not going to be the district anymore just gonna confine it to this bit of rope whoops there's an abandoned building down there hmm that's easily fixed by destroying it so yeah we're gonna need more industry and for that I'm gonna build some more uh, Of these roads okay um, let's see that should be fine and then let's go to industry let ourselves get a nice paintbrush and make this all farmland Oh, the paintbrush is not very accurate if you go fast. There we go. There we go. All of that farmland. Um, yeah, we also are going to need more commercial. Which uh, means that it's a, probably a good idea to start uh, reducing the amount of... Okay, let's do the fill thing like that and then fill this up with commercial as well as this bit and that bit and that bit mm. there needs to be a metro station here and that's what I'm gonna build there's gonna be some more metro than there is gonna be okay so if I build it like that that gives us the other way around okay so I need to do this instead um, space is occupied. It's annoying. Because I want to orient it a little bit differently. How about this that's also occupied? Yeah. Ah, our passenger train. You know what? Let's just drop it like this then. There we go. That's one station down. One is gonna go this way. So, that's exactly the wrong way around. So, I'm going to move you to be on the exact same spot, only the other way around. Then, I'm going to build another one over here. Can I build it? No, that one is kind of stuck. Build it then here. We're going to try and keep the metro quite straight. And just, this is going to be one line. There's one line going the other side here. I mean, that's the way Metro works in, usually in real life. Is that they are just straight lines, or straight-ish lines, going out from a city center. And then uh, they get connected. Of course, I'm going to have to connect the train station here to this line. Oh, 
this line is also going to go this way. Actually, it should go this way then. And one back here. Let's make some tunnels. And that's this is going to be quite easy because um, they just cost money, nothing really more. Okay, let's turn it like that. See, and, and they don't take up any space really, so. Because they're beneath the city. And then. This is Metro Lines. Okay, so. And another straight one from here. There we go. That's gonna be one line. This is basically the central station. <laughs> yep, this is me building lots and lots of metro. Uh, no further than that. There we go. That's better. A straight one from here to there. Okay, this is m probably not the best one yet. Okay, let's build an extra little bit between here. Because the university does need one. And I'll just remove this specific one. Yes, I do want to destroy it. University gets a uh, station as well. I might actually, in between episodes, name the stations, because that's fun as well. Okay, so that one is connected like that, and this one's connected like this. Okay, so one station, one line, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back the other way again. And complete the line. New line, the other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, so we just connected the metro stations uh, to... Through the metro, we just connected our railway system as well. That makes sense. People are leaving probably because they cannot get jobs or anything. So it might be an idea to expand a little bit on the uh, forest area. So. Something like this. Then we'll just add some more industry over here. For them to work in. There's also a difficult connection between the Black Forest and downtown. Also I'm gonna need to make, uh, to give this a name. Um, yeah, so this is north. That's definitely true. So, yeah, people are moving in again. So, how is the traffic situation nowadays in town? It's actually pretty decent. This road is the most busy one. The, ooh, this intersection. That's because it is from the highway off. Actually, there's not a lot of traffic here, which is good as well. And yeah, this uh, road has the most traffic overall. But that should be fine. I mean, it doesn't have many. Well, it does have traffic lights everywhere, but... So, how is public transportation? 600 people are taking the bus. That's really good, actually. 600 people on 17,000. 74 are taking the metro. And 42 are taking the train. Yeah, another metro, like, right in here could be useful. 
Probably gonna be a diff completely different route that doesn't go through downtown. Because people would like to go to work other ways as well. Malice has... Oh, seriously, another building burned down. Yeah, okay, Malice needs more people. Malice needs people. Okay, you go away. What is the problem here? Probably too low land value or something. That's a good point. We need some parks in here as well. Let's just grab ourselves a park back here. Or well, we need a second park. That's more like it. And we're getting upgrades. And we're a big city now, which gives us uh, what we need. It's, it's an outside connection. Which means we can do cargo trains as well. When we do that. So let's go. If we take this, the city is going to be long. Long city. Outside connection, train connections, which means that uh, we'll be able to bring in the tourists. Uh, let's see. Train, very important. I like trains. Um... Page down. Let's snap it. So it's actually straight. It actually does look very straight from here. And let's actually make it curve a bit. Come on. There we go, now we have an outside rail connection. Which means that people from outside of town can also come in. By train. 10%, almost got all the garbage going. Garbage, woof. Incinerators are doing a good job. Is there a way to get outside connections going? 329, wow, Metro has gone up significantly and we have some crime issues let's you know what we have quite a bit of money let's get a police headquarters set up near downtown and I'm not gonna put it on the uh, yeah next to the metro station that's fine good operating normally police cars perfect Please is here to serve and protect in a big way. How is the fire safety? Not great back here or there. Let's build near the new... F yeah, let's actually have a fire station over here. That will increase coverage and everything. There are more people... Seriously, we don't have that. We have a, such a small area of the city is filled in with people. I mean, this is most most of where the people are living, and a little bit here in Malice, but other than that, there's so much room we have to expand, and, oh man, this city is going to grow big. As long as we keep up with uh, public transportation, it should be fine. Actually, that reminds me, we should maybe start filling in some more commercial areas. I'm going to put some low density all the way here. Also to keep a little bit of the noise down there. Let's build a second office park right here. And finally get downtown unresidentiated. If that that's not even a word, but fine. There we go. Offices are being built. Yeah, of course, the demand is not only for industry, but also for offices. But having actual industry is also quite decent in the city, to be honest. Mostly because of goods. Um, what is this? Not enough customers. Make sure all is well, and it's not. Residential in the area, yeah. That's why we have the public transportation to connect the industry over. You know what? We need more offices. What is this? That's still a... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, let's um, actually expand on this park a little bit. Something like this and a basketball court. 
over here. So land value goes up. Yeah, we do like some land value over here. So let's build a park right there. People will love it. But Park View is there to be the um, the bustling residential center of the city. And of course there are offices right here. What do they need actually? Educate more people. Okay, so... Still going reasonably well. It's, it's just this city is looking really good. I, I just I love this game. I cannot stress that enough. Ah, yes, there are trains leaving. Holy crap, there are a lot of trains coming in now. Tourists, 10 by train. 603, we're getting more metro users than bus users now. This uh, metro system is working. Also, it helps that we, of course, connected the um, industrial area over here. So, uh, let's go back to public transport. 1295, which is 7% of the city is using uh, is using public transportation right now. Uh, this bus line. How many buses are in use, actually? 49. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, yes, a crematorium. That's a good point. That's a good building to build, I guess. Because it leaves... Um, makes room in the... Uh, Let's build it near the station here. A crematorium is helpful in the sense that it uh, makes... Um, ah, good, the landfill is completely empty. You see the pollution is slowly disappearing as well. I guess these have no use anymore. Uh, crematorium Lee makes sure that cemeteries don't overflow at some point. The cemeteries can get full, and I like I like the aesthetic of the cemetery, so I'm not going to stop using them or anything. Here, yeah, this is the commercial district, the commercial heart of the city. The only reason it's actually working this well is because we have such a decent amount of public transport. Metro is still going up. Metro is going places. Also, because we have quite a few stations next to each other, which is helpful. Um, I'm probably going to add a black forest straight to the center line, maybe. Mm. There has to be something in the middle here for uh, for that as well. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I never set up a bus line to this area of the town. So if I do it like that. Two, three... And then we go into the... Oh, that's the wrong side of the road. Add a stop there. Add a stop here. Add a couple of stops everywhere. So people can use this line as well to go to work. There we go. Another bus line created. Yeah, I just realized I never connected this industrial area with the buses as well. Also, now that we do actually have um, this area unused when it comes to pollution, it's time to remove... Or move the incinerators. Or st Ooh, we are getting close though. Oh, let's actually have a look. If we were to build a dam, I just want to have a look at how much power it would give us. 48. Seriously, is that it? 16. That's even worse. How about if we build one over here? Yeah, they're just not very decent areas for the water to work. 48. 64. How about something like this? That's even better. That's 96. But you need like a really good place to fill up an entire area with water. See, it's 160 if we were to build one here, but that would... Whoa, that wave. What the hell? There are some good waves going out here. Seriously, is this... No way. Is trying to construct a dam doing this? 
Might be. It's really weird. Just checking if that's the reason. No. It's just something happened somewhere and oh there's some ha some stuff going wrong here. Probably because we need some workers on this side of town. Let's build some more low residential. Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep Malice a little bit lower residential area as well. Instead of just uh And one more to go, right like this. So Malice is going to be able to expand. We're now at 700,000. We're doing... The city's just doing great. There's not a lot wrong as far as I can see. Leisure, parks and plazas. Yeah, most of it is here in the city center. We're going to need some parks up there as well. Districts are doing great. Natural resources. Of course, there's oil here. There's a ton of oil here. Holy crap. And transport, 700 for the metro. Very good still. Outside connections. Tourism, um, 157 already for tourists. Not bad. So, pollution. Yeah, this one will be moved in at some point. Noise pollution is quite high. It's decent where the people live, and that's the most important. I mean, if they go to work, they will. there will be noise. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, tomorrow will be some regular stuff again. I mean, yeah. But yeah, this was my uh, birthday session of uh, City Skylines. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. Look at this skyline. Oh, beautiful. I'll uh, see you guys later.